Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. This video, this article is an update in regards to a case which I covered just a couple of days ago. Um, a double murder, seemingly, that happened in North London. A town called Barnet, Barnet, um, a, a nice leafy suburb. Um, and it's an update. So uh, what we learned a couple of days ago is on Tuesday is that a 37-year-old woman and her five-year-old son were both found dead with stab wounds, multiple stab wounds each. This happened in Brookside, South Barnet, North London on Tuesday. Both were pronounced dead at the scene. There was a very large police response. A man was arrested at the time and a vehicle was taken away, towed away, a vehicle that was outside of the home. I did say within my video that I speculated that uh, the man that was arrested was perhaps the husband. That hasn't been clarified at this point, but what has been clarified is that the man that has been arrested, or sorry, let me rephrase, the man that was arrested at the scene has been released. Has been released. The 37-year-old man who had been arrested in connection with the deaths of the 37-year-old woman and her 5-year-old son has been released without further action. Nobody else is sought in connection with the deaths. Okay, so let me show you that quote there, which frankly confuses me. Nobody else is sought in connection with the two deaths. So I'm trying to interpret that. What does that mean? Does that mean that they believe that the 37-year-old man that's been released is guilty? No, it can't mean that. Because if they thought he was guilty, he would still be arrested. So it can't be that. So I'm thinking, and apologies if I have this incorrect, this is of course speculation, and it's quite unpleasant speculation, but I'm thinking that perhaps, now that they have done a post-mortem examination, perhaps they believe that the mother committed a murder-suicide. That's what I'm thinking, that perhaps the mother stabbed the child to death and then subsequently stabbed herself to death. I mean, that's, that is an, a, a, an absolutely horrific suggestion. But that would make sense to me, given what's said here, that the 37-year-old man that was arrested has been released with no further action taken against him and that nobody else has sought in connection with the two deaths. So I can only think that's, that's all my brain can muster that the police at this point in time, and this again is speculation on my part, I'm speculating that the police believe that the 37-year-old woman, the mother, killed her son and then killed herself. And again, apologies if I'm off the mark. Um, I, I, I dare say what I've just said could potentially be highly offensive um, to the family. So I'm not trying to be offensive at all. Um, I'm just saying... Just expressing my thoughts, that, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not looking to offend anybody. But we will look through the details at this point. A man has been a man arrested after a mother and five-year-old child died with stab wounds in North London has been released by police. Police and paramedics found a 37-year-old woman and a five-year-old child with stab wounds at an address in Brookside South Barnet, North London, on Tuesday, both regrettably tragically were pronounced dead at the scene we now know the details of who the victims are they have been identified as yi chen a chinese national yi chen and her son apologies for pronunciation jing duan yuan jing duan yuan jing duan yuan her five-year-old son was born in the United Kingdom and also had a Chinese passport. A 37-year-old man who knew the deceased had been arrested on suspicion of murder, but has been released with no further action. A post-mortem examination into the death of Yi Chen gave cause of death as stab wounds. 
Now it doesn't say self-inflicted. Detective Chief, in Chief Inspector leading the investigation said the post-mortem examination on Yu Chen has provided important new information as to the nature of her injuries. But note that that information has not been released at this point in time or certainly it has not been reported within this article. Following the post-mortem examination, the 37-year-old man who had been arrested in connection with the deaths of both Yi Chen and her 5-year-old son, Jing Duan Yuan, has been released without further action. Nobody else is sought in connection with the two deaths. Um, a post-mortem examination in respect of Jing Duan Yuan is scheduled for Wednesday next week. Okay, so if I understand correctly, they've performed a post-mortem examination uh, on the mother, Yi Chen, but perhaps not on the son, and not until next week. I'm surprised by that. I'm surprised that they would take so long to perform, to perform a post-mortem examination uh, in regards to what could be a murder victim. Well, no, sorry, forgive me, what is certainly a murder victim a five-year-old boy um why is there such a delay in the post-mortem examination that confuses me to be honest if anyone can shed some light please do uh, the article pays some tributes it mentions some quotes from family members and local neighbors one family member said that the boy Loved Harry Potter and toy cars. Of course, rest in peace. Thank you for the happiness. You will be remembered. A neighbor, a friend, says that uh, Yi Chen, the mother, was a lovely lady, a doting mother. She was perfect. She would play with her two sons in the area outside the house quite often. Um, she was always outside having fun with her children. So, of course, this is devastating to the local community. Anybody that's familiar with the victims is going to be absolutely devastated. Um, it tells us a little bit about Yi Chen's husband. I uh, don't feel the need to go into those details there. Um, again, it's not been confirmed if the 37-year-old man who was arrested, it's not been confirmed if that was the husband. I still suspect that it was. Um, but that hasn't been confirmed. I do want to read past this, read through this little section here. Uh, it involves uh, another witness statement of a local neighbor. Uh, it says here, within minutes, there were police and paramedics everywhere. An air ambulance landed in the school playing field nearby. The police were searching my neighbor's house. A man was later taken away by officers. However, he was not in handcuffs. And there did not appear to be any blood on him. So I find that very interesting. So this neighbor, and these details may be inaccurate, of course, but the neighbor is saying that they witnessed the police apprehend one individual. So I'm going to presume, could be wrong, I'm going to presume that that's the 37-year-old man that they arrested. But the police apprehended him when he was not in handcuffs. So they didn't feel he was an, in danger, a, a danger to them or at risk of running away. And uh, the witness, who could again be wrong, said that there did not appear to be any blood on him. So could it be the case, again, this is speculation and apologies if this offends anybody. But could it be the case that the father came home and witnessed the terrible, terrible scene? his wife, his child, dead or dying, having suffered multiple stab wounds. It, could that have been the case? And again, I'm going to speculate again, if that is the case, then why are the police no longer searching for a suspect, if I understand what we read earlier correctly? Um... Nobody else is sought in connection with the two deaths. Why? 
I'm not understanding. I can only think, and again, apologies, but I can only think that Yi Chen is believed to have committed a murder-suicide, killed her own son, and uh, then killed herself. That That's all I can think. And again, I don't want to think that. Um, but th that's where I am at the moment. So I probably will uh, continue to do updates uh, in regards to this. Um, I think it's fair to clarify. If, if I do become aware, I think it's absolutely fair to clarify whether or not my speculation is accurate. Uh, whichever way it goes, uh, I think it's best to report back on that. So if I do see further updates uh, in regards to this, and I will try to keep an eye out for them, then I, I will uh, likely do an updated video. I'm um, going to wrap things up here at this point. Of course, full condolences to everyone concerned, uh, the, the young five-year-old child and the mother. Even if the mother's guilty, even if the mother is guilty, I can only think that that would be a moment, a period of insanity that would cause the mother to do such a horrendous thing. But my speculation could be very wide of the mark. Um, so let's hope that the investigation continues unimpeded. Well, I guess we'll find out more information perhaps once the uh, son's post-mortem examination details are released. And that will ought to ascertain, well, yeah, we'll, we'll get more information, I'm quite sure. So we'll see how we go. Take care, guys.